Hello and welcome to the Open3D Engine YouTube channel. I'm Alex Demarjan, a technical trainer with the AWS Game Tech team. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create our first O3DE project. But I want to make one quick point before we begin, and this is in respect to the open source nature of O3DE. The Open3D Engine community is constantly updating the engine with new features, so check back often for more O3D related content. Enjoy the video. Before we begin creating our project, make sure that you completed the following prerequisites. First, your system meets all hardware and software requirements. Next, all third-party software must already have been installed and configured correctly on your system. Then have O3DE installed on your computer. Make sure that it's registered. Now, if you're confused about any of these steps, please see the description below for tutorials on how to complete them. Project directories can be located either in the same directory as the O3D root directory or outside of this directory. This tutorial uses the following project name and directories. Within our O3D e master directory, let's begin by creating a project folder. I'm going to call mine my project. If you recall from the tutorial where we built our engine, we used an O3D e script to register our engine. But we'll need to use that same script again for the next few steps in this tutorial. For the sake of clarity, let's navigate to the location where the O3DE script is located and reference that location with our command prompt. My script can be found in the following location. Now, what we're going to be using is the following command, which looks like this. We have the name of our script, which is O3DE, followed by the command create project, and then our project path, which would be pointing to our my project folder. All right, let's take a look at how to do this in command prompt. So go ahead and change your directory to the scripts folder. Next, we'll use the O3DE script mentioned earlier to create a new project in our my project folder. The create project command used with the project path and no other option creates a new project using the default project template. So here you can see all of the new project files that were created in that empty my projects folder that you saw earlier. In order to configure and build our project, we need to coordinate the engine with our new project. We do this through the registration command, which looks something like this. Now for clarity's sake, and if you're following along, here's the command within command prompt that I ran to register my project. The way we know if registration has been successful is by opening and examining the contents of the O3DE underscore manifest.json file, which can be found on the drive containing your username folder. Within it, you'll find a subfolder .o3de. Now that we've found our manifest file, go ahead and double click it. Now the way that we know that our project has been successfully registered is that within the file, you'll find a project section and you should see the path to our My Projects project. Next, we're gonna create our Visual Studio project. CMake is used to create Visual Studio projects. So we'll use CMake to create the Visual Studio project in our new My Project directory. We need to supply the build directory, the Visual Studio generator, the path to the packages directory, and you need to build set to on for faster compilation. Creating the Visual Studio project files can take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and we'll come back once it's done. You will know configuration was successful because you would have found a build folder in your My Projects directory. Also, command line should prompt you indicating that configuring was done, generating was done, and that the build files had been written to the correct build folder. So next we're gonna use the command that you see here to build our project. Now this uses CMake to build the project launcher using the solution that we created before located in the Windows underscore VS 2019 directory. Now what we're looking at here is the build profile configuration. Now a special note, if you look at the end of the command, you'll find a forward slash M. This is a recommended build tool optimization. This tells the Microsoft compiler to use multiple threads during the compilation time. This greatly speeds up build times. Let's go ahead and run our command. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And once it completes, we're going to take a look at where the project binary files can be found. When the build completes, the binaries will become available in the bin folder and wherever you directed your build configuration to be. If you're following along with the steps in this video, they should be found at the following path. Now to verify a successful build, let's run the editor. Based on your preferences, you can run the editor from the command line with the following command or by running the editor.exe file found in the profile folder. Once the assets are processed at a certain stage, the editor will open. Another way of checking the status of the assets being processed is by opening the asset processor. 
One way of doing this is by locating where your binaries were generated and double clicking the asset processor executable file. Another way of doing this is by clicking the show hidden icons button located in your Windows taskbar. Here you'll find the asset processor button. Make sure that it has the O3D asset processor label. Now, depending on when you get the build, and as I mentioned before, the engine is constantly being updated, the icon might change. By and large, it should look something like this. Go ahead and click on that. And that will open up the asset processor. Now, up at the top left corner of your asset processor, you'll see a status and whether it's working or idle. As you can see here, mine says idle, which means that it has completed processing all of the assets. If you see that the status is currently working, that means that it is currently processing assets. In this video, we created our first project. Stay tuned for future videos where we'll discuss more O3D related content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.